Hello everyone, and welcome back to another beautiful day in the world of Feed the Beast Beyond. I'm BPD, and I want to thank you so much for joining me today. So once again, it's been a few days since uh, my last upload, and I do apologize for that, I really do. But unfortunately, things uh, in real life have been taking quite a bit of my attention, and you know, it's unfortunate, but that's the way life works, you know, sometimes. So... Hopefully, I think I've got everything sorted out as far as that goes, so it shouldn't be too much of an issue going forward, which I am 100% happy about. But aside from that, we also... I, I did record an episode, actually, and as much as I hate to say it, I really did not enjoy a majority of the episode. As you know, we were supposed to fight the Guardians of Gaia or the Gaia Guardian or whatever it is it's called, and I made an awesome arena for it, and I love the way the arena looks, but... Um, and the boss fight was awesome. The boss fight was hectic. It was crazy. I mean, it was probably the hardest boss fight I've fought in Minecraft, including like Twilight Forest and Galactocraft and stuff. It was pretty insane. Um, but there was just a lot of things that I did not enjoy, I guess is the best way to put it. But we did, we did fight the Gaia Guardian and it went pretty well. It went pretty well. This is how it went down. All right. Oh man. Get that one. Vigor, get Owl Sight, get Shielding, get this. Oh, he sucked me in. Get this. Alright, where's our star? Oh, okay. Oh man, look at this mute. Oh, and Pixies are. Oh, they're bats. Oh, oh, I don't know what's happening. Oh, I can't see. Oh, this is like the most hectic thing ever. There's so much life still. And bats. Oh, these are evil Pixies, I think. I don't know. I don't know what's going on. Oh, this is insane. This is insane. Like, the music is just insane. It's like in your face. I can feel us winning. I can feel us winning. I can feel us dying though as well, which is not good. It hurts. It hurts so bad. It hurts so bad. Oh, it's like transmuting. What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? Where is it? Oh, mobs everywhere. Ah. Oh. He's everywhere but nowhere. It's like this weird, there's like a weird gravity situation going on too. Okay, it sounds like all the mobs are done, thankfully. So we should be able to take him out. We should be just about finished with him. Oh, so close, so close. Oh, that blew up, oh, I died. So, uh, although we did end up dying at the end, unfortunately, there was some sort of explosion that I guess happened after it died, uh, that killed us, but we did manage to kill it, and we did get Gaia's spirits, and I thought, you know, that was, it was tough, but it shouldn't have been too much harder for the second one, right? Like, doing the second boss shouldn't have been that bad, should have been nice and easy, maybe a little bit longer, uh, I was, I was mistaken. Okay, get that. Um, Vigor, Fortitude, Restoration, and Owl Sight, and we'll do this as well. Alright, so let's go ahead and start shooting them. Alright, we need to pixie this up. Oh, there are so many more of these black ones here. This is way harder. This is so much harder. This, get this, and eat some food okay and restoration see look at how fast he just eats up my uh my absorption man it's crazy oh come on this is so much harder this is so much harder i don't know if i'm gonna win i do not know if i will oh i died wow so after that first failure, I thought to myself, well, maybe, uh, you know, maybe if I, maybe if I let myself fly, maybe that, maybe that'll help and I'll be able to actually take down the, the Gaia Guardian 2. I'm going to go ahead and click this on here. And I'm, oh, you can't. It actually deactivates it. No way. You couldn't possibly fly if you wanted to. That's awesome. So I need that. I need that. I need that, and I need that, and I need this, and I need my food, which I don't have much of. Wow, this is insanely hard. 
insanely hard. Oh man, that is so hard. As you can see, did not work. Whatever happened with that ritual, it actually deactivated my angel ring. So I couldn't fly, even if I wanted to, I couldn't fly. And like I said, that boss fight was hard. The hardest part about it, I think, was the fact that there's something like constantly pulling you and pushing you around and not really letting you move at your own volition. And it's just, it's so weird. I do recommend it. I have to say, I recommend fighting that Gaia Guardian. It's an interesting experience. It looks awesome. The music's pretty cool. But the Gaia Guardian uh, 2, the second tier ritual, not for the faint of heart. And definitely not for this armor. This armor, I mean, it was okay for the first ritual. It did its job, but I feel like any armor could have really done its job. This armor? No. It does not look anywhere near good enough for me to have to go through that. So you know what? We're putting it all away. This sword, it was okay, but even that. You know, I'll take my rapier. This stuff, I don't know. It doesn't look that great. It doesn't really work that great. I guess it didn't lose durability because I had my mana tablet on me, which is cool, but... Not the armor for me. We're going to have to get some sort of armor upgrade before we can really take on that, uh, you know, that ritual of Gaia. So I had, uh, as you see here, this is kind of a large open area. And this Rod of the Bilfrost is cool. I use it to make uh, the blocks that you'll see in there. But you can also use it to make like temporary paths. It does not always work. And I actually, it's kind of glitchy, this rod, unfortunately. But... Uh, let's see if it works here. You click, yeah, and it makes a path that lasts for about 15 seconds. It goes about 100 blocks, and this thing is actually really awesome. Unfortunately, when you when like when it expires, there's a huge frame skip that happens with it. So I won't be using it for too awfully much, unfortunately. But it is a pretty cool concept. But this rod is what we use to make, uh, you know, these glass blocks here that change color, the living rock that changes color, and the dream wood that all changes color. And I like the arena. The chairs are from DecoCraft, and I think they kind of mix. Uh, the idea was to have, um, you know, these were for the, oh, yep, that was the thing deactivating, actually. Uh, the bridge deactivating. Frame skip, like Doom, so probably won't be using this for, you know, that. It makes cool blocks, though. But the chairs were supposed to be for the elves to watch me decimate their, oh. Oh. To watch me decimate their guardian. However, thankfully, none of them showed up because I myself got decimated. Uh, it was not pleasant. No, no, but thankfully we, I did the first ritual, but I don't even think you can get relics from like, I don't think you can get any of the rare drops from the normal guardian. I think it has to be the tier two guardian, which is unfortunate. So we're going to have to work on getting some sort of, uh, you know, some sort of upgrade before we can really take that on and, you know, maybe, uh, I don't know. Draconic Evolution has some armor, I think. Uh, but I don't know. I'll look into that later. What we are going to do today, since, uh, you know, we're not really going to be... We're kind of going to be steering away, away from Batania for a while. Probably going to move all this stuff, finish out the courtyard and whatnot, and make a garden for it. But we're going to move away from Batania. And in the process of creating that arena, I realized that I am lacking a lot of the basic resources. One of them being wood. And for some reason, I do not quite have a tree farm. Now, we've been getting plenty of appetite. So I think I'm actually going to make a forestry tree farm. Yeah, we have 3,000 appetite there. And another, is it just one P? Yeah, another 500 ore of it. So yeah, I'll probably just uh, I'll probably just do the forestry one because uh, it's the easiest, I think. If I find a different one while I'm looking around, while I'm getting things together, I'll go ahead and go with that. But yeah, so that's what we're going to be doing today. We're going to be making an awesome, nice, easy forest or uh, tree farm. Probably going to be mixing up the woods, get a couple different kinds. But let me go ahead and get some things ready for that endeavor. And uh, I will see you guys in just a bit. Welcome back, everyone. So as you see, I have an inventory full of all kinds of goodies. So let's go ahead and get this party started. I've marked off the center of the area here. This is in a chunk, of course, as you know. If you can build inside chunk borders, I always recommend it. So we're going to go ahead and actually we're going to take this piece, take this out piece by piece real quick. And let's see here. Actually, I think what we're also going to do is put it down one. So we're going to go ahead and drop it here. We're going to just put it one level below. We're just going to do the smallest, the three by three. It's not going to be a huge tree farm. We don't need any kind of gigantic tree farm, especially since it's going to be on a lot of the time. So, 
yeah, we don't we don't need anything too awfully crazy. But now what we do is basically just dig up and we're gonna go five out right there. Yep. And take out these bad boys. Actually, let's also dig. We're gonna have to dig down slightly here because this has to be four tall. So I think that's one, two, three. And then go ahead and make this. And then one more down below it. Uh, this is right, isn't it? Yep. And down. And that should do us for the farm multi-structure here. We're going to put... Um, I'm going to put that there. We're going to do... Let's see. We need two hatches. So the hatches are how you take items in and out. So we need two of those. And then we need one gearbox, which is how you input and or how you give it power, and then we need one valve there, which is how you put water in it, because this thing does need water to work. So let's go ahead and close this up, and actually we're going to have to like, because we're gonna have to connect this at some point to our power over there. So, that's fine. I'll do that in a, in just a second. But that's basically the form. You have a, it's it has to be four tall, and we're doing ours three by three. I think it can be four by three and five by three other than that. And, uh, you need, like I said, two hatches, one for, uh, pulling in one for taking out. And actually you could probably even just use one hatch for that. Cause it has multiple sides, but I'm going to use two, one valve for water and then one gearbox. Now you have to basically get your setup for your plants. And I want the farm to be kind of level cause this centerpiece doesn't ever grow anything, even if you cover it. And I kind of want the farm to be level with that. So the machine is going to place down, It's we're going to give it dirt, and it's basically going to place down this fertilized uh, dirt called like hummus or humus or something like that. But it's going to put it one level higher than this stone brick that we have here. So what we do is we cut that out, and then we're going to go ahead and go with the diamond shape here. Do four there, three there two there and one here all right so then we'll go ahead patch up any holes patch up any holes all right and then place the rest of it do 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 all right so let me go ahead and place the rest of you see what i'm going for here and then i'm going to kind of bring it out more over here do do do, do. But uh, let me go ahead and place the rest of these farm blocks, or the rest of these stone bricks real quick. And then we can go ahead and start getting this thing hooked up with power. And then go ahead and get it hooked up with everything, hooked up to the ME system so that uh, so that we can start getting our trees. I can't, I've like forgotten to do tree production for the longest time. I don't know why. But yeah, let me just go ahead and finish placing these up and then I'll see you guys in just a second. Welcome back everyone. So we have it all relatively set up here as far as the stone goes. Uh, so this is the layout I'm going to go for for the farm as you see here. Now jumping down here we've got some cables strewn about here. We've got our ME conduit and our energy cables and those are coming straight from the ME conduit is coming straight from the controller there and we have our power coming straight uh, from the you know the one that's controlling the ME controller there. So just a couple more things that we got to do here, and one of them is switch out our this cable for this cable. There we go. And the first thing we got to do is power it. So let's go ahead and drag this up to there and give it some power. All right, so it should now have power. Now what we're going to do uh, for water is what we were going to do for uh, the magmatic dynamos that we have over there. I was looking for this. It's called a reservoir and basically what it does is it's like it's an infinite source of water essentially. So that's awesome. Just need my bucket. There it is. So basically what's going to happen is water will be able to come out of here to provide to the farm infinitely without it ever uh, you know running out. Oh what happened? Oh so much water everywhere. Uh, so it actually looks like it's already infinite. I put in two buckets and you see it infinite sourced up. So now we just need our conduit here. 
and we will go ahead and connect that up make this insert and this will be extract okay so now this should be getting water perfect and this isn't going down this is what's awesome about this thing is it'll automatically fill itself back up so last thing we need here are the items that we're going to want to go in so of course we're going to have some import and export buses the first one we'll do is the export bus now for this one we're going to want a capacity card and a crafting card in it uh, because it's going to be making fertilizer so we're going to want fertilizer we're going to want saplings and we're going to want to want we're going to want dirt and those are the three things that we're going to need to provide to this uh, farm so let's go ahead and jump up and what it should do is plant yep there it goes so it's going to start planting things it plants the dirt and turns it into this stuff right here hummus or humus I don't think it's hummus hummus is that stuff you eat right so uh, it's going to plant it and turn it into hummus and it's kind of uh, as it's getting dirt at the moment it's planting it but let's go ahead and toss this stuff in here and that stuff in here and this stuff in here and we can go ahead and see this thing get really made there we go Look at that bad boy. So now we are going to have plenty of, uh, oh, and I got to plug this little hole back up here. Bam. We're going to have plenty of trees and wood for, uh, you know, for all the happenings that we're doing. I just noticed how little wood we actually had. Why isn't this, does it need to wait a tick or something? Uh, I was actually surprised at how little wood we actually had, which is kind of unfortunate but um but yeah so there's a uh easy that i mean that's a super easy forestry tree farm it pretty much hasn't changed from what i understand from like minecraft 1.8 1.7 stuff like that so pretty straightforward but i thought i'd give that as a little aside since the guardian fight kind of went it was a flop i guess is the best way to put it which is unfortunate but you know it uh that's the way the cookie crumbles. We're going to have to... I mean, the first one we completed. Like I said, the first one we got... And this is still not... Still not doing... Oh, there it goes. The first one... The first Guardian we got... And that one seemed relatively easy. But for some reason, that second Guardian was just... Not having any of my shenanigans. I couldn't fly. I couldn't do anything. It just wrecked me. But I do recommend that boss fight for anybody who's looking for a challenge. That thinks maybe Minecraft doesn't quite have... Uh, the fights that you need that one was that one was pretty intense I have to say but like I said we're probably gonna tear down the uh, Batania stuff from here uh, kind of fill this corridor or courtyard out a little bit more and just kind of do a little bit more decorating decorating I'm gonna be on more often now so hopefully I'll be able to get some real progress done it's you know we've got plenty of resources and our automation is you know pretty good but this place does not look very good at all so um, yeah, that's, you know, that's the unfortunate thing. I'm going to have to chunk load this too. But, um, yeah, that's, you know, that's kind of the unfortunate thing about it is it doesn't, you know, it's just not quite where I want it to be. But uh, that is actually going to do it for us here today. I do want to thank you all so much for joining in with me. And I, once again, I apologize for the, uh, you know, the length of time in between uploads here it's uh it's unfortunate and it should be over i'm going to be back on back cracking and uh back to get into work so with that said let me know what you guys want to see let me know if you guys have any ideas uh for mods that i haven't gotten into that you guys want to see or perhaps a build of something i still don't know kind of what the theme of this world is that i want or the theme of the world that I want to be. I don't know what I want it to be yet. So I'm still kind of mulling that over in my head. I have to find kind of a place to go and figure stuff out. But if you guys have any thoughts, go ahead and let me know in the comments. And just, you know, let me know if there's anything you want to see, really. I'm, I'm up to just about anything. I'm up for all ideas. Let me know what you guys think of the arena over here. Uh, like I said, it was a decent amount of work. few good few hours and a lot of resources went into this. I mean, just mostly stone and wood, but when you have to sit there and wait for it to change uh, with via flowers and mana and all that stuff, it gets, you know, it gets time consuming. But uh, yeah, that is going to do it for us here today. So until I see you guys again, have a good one. <laughs>